In today's video, we're gonna talk about volume in trading. Think of this as more of a crash course. And when it comes to trading stocks, there's a lot of different factors that can affect the success of your trades. One of the more important factors is volume. Now, volume is simply the number of shares that are traded in a particular stock during a given period of time. And there are a lot of benefits to trading stocks using volume. For one, it can really help you get a better understanding of the current market environment and the overall interest in whatever ticker you're looking at. And for some, it can also help you make more informed decisions about when you should buy or sell. Now remember, volume is also affected by the size of the overall market. So if the market's large, the more shares can move hands generally during the session. That applies to individual tickers as well. Before we keep going here, I'd like you to hit subscribe to our channel and really help you do that, get the word out about this channel. And if you like this video, hit like, and of course, subscribe. So what is buying volume? If there are more people in the market at any given moment, you're gonna be able to buy and sell larger or smaller amounts of stock because there's more people out there who wanna fill your order. For example, in any market economy, you need buyers, you need sellers, right? For example, if I wanna buy a car, I need someone that's gonna be selling theirs. If I wanna sell my car, I need a buyer. These transactions are gonna require both parties to agree on the terms of the sale, the price. So when price goes up, who's at control? Buyers are generally in control. Volume increases when price is going up and if there's strong interest in the stock. But every time you hit that buy button when you're trading, your order is registered with the exchange and you show up in the volume output. Selling volume, just the opposite. When price is heading to the downside, sellers have more control. And when price moves down low enough, sellers will start offering the stock at the lowest price that they're gonna sell it for. That's selling volume and it happens at the bid price. So a bid is the highest price a buyer is willing to pay for the stock. So if someone wants to sell at the bid, that means the seller's not really interested in the stock. The bid represents the best price that the buyer is going to pay. So this is a 15 minute chart, shows how many shares are traded during those 15 minutes. A daily chart will show how many shares change hands during the day. These charts are useful because they give an idea of how active the market is and if it's even worth participating in. Now you can add color to that histogram where the red volume bar means the market price declined and the volume type is selling volume. A green volume bar means the market has risen during that period. We're talking about average volume. You've probably heard that. So day trading stocks that are trading with volume, that's gonna allow you to enter and exit your position quite quickly. Doesn't matter if you're buying or selling. In fact, short-term trading with stocks that have low volume, well, that's a sure way to experience slippage, which you don't want. Now, the average daily volume, it's the total number of shares traded per day divided by the period that you're considering. So for example, a high average daily volume indicates there are a lot of transactions during the trading session that you're looking at. So when you wanna determine the average volume, many traders will use a 20 period or a 50 period moving average of volume. So these traders will wait until volume exceeds the average before they look for a position. On this chart here, it's a 50 day moving average of volume. And you can see that on the far right edge, it's trading below the average volume. So you're gonna to need to determine how you're going to approach this chart or if you're just going to skip it due to lack of interest. And for the record, I use volume and scanning for stocks over a 50-day period. What does high volume mean? Because we're going to see it, right? We're going to see days where there's higher than normal volume. And so these days right now, we have high volatility. We get large price moves. Most of that's the downside. But if most of the trading is done at the ask, then the price may go up. And the increased volume shows buyers are motivated to buy. So when there's a lot of volume at the ask, it means people are buying the stock. If the stock goes up, it means that the demand is high, supply is low. So if you buy the stock, you'll probably get the price that it's offered at without experiencing any slippage. And when you see a volume spike in a stock, it can be an indication that something is happening with the company. This could be something positive, like an earnings release, or negative, like a lawsuit. When you pay attention to volume, you actually can get an early indication of these events, and you can just make your trades accordingly. Of course, you wanna make sure you understand price movement and structure before you do that. Retracements against a trend, just call those pullbacks. So when you're looking at volume, we wanna see larger volume when price moves in the direction of the trend, and smaller volume when price moves against the trend. So in other words, look for momentum in that impulse move. And with the correction, we want to see kind of a lazy pullback. In fact, you can use a momentum indicator to help determine pullbacks, right? That's a solid trading strategy. When high volume accompanies sharp price movements against the current trend, it's an indication the trend is weakening. If the volume spikes five to 10 times above average, well, it may signal the end of the trend. 
Exhaustion moves occur when there's no longer enough buyers left to push price higher. When you trade stocks and you're gonna use volume, you can also use it with other technical indicators. For example, you could use volume to confirm trends or help identify potential support and resistance levels. But it's also important to keep in mind that volume is just one of the many factors that you should consider when you're making your decisions to trade. Other important factors include trend, the history of price, what's been going on in the recent past, and is there momentum in the market? And some other traders may like to use technical indicators as well, in addition to volume. They might use the price volume ratio, and this indicator just measures the relationship between a stock's price and its volume. So a high ratio indicates that the stock is overbought. A low ratio indicates that it's oversold. On balance volume, this indicator uses volume to assess the strength of a stock's price movement. So a rising on balance volume indicates that buying pressure is increasing. Falling on balance volume indicates that selling pressure is increasing. Of course, there's the RSI, the Relative Strength Index. This indicator just measures the relationship between a stock's price. A high RSI indicates that the stock is overbought, while a low RSI indicates that it's oversold. So when you consider volume along with other technical indicators, right, you can get a better sense of a stock's underlying strength and your decisions to trade are more informed. But volume, it's important more important to some people. And it can actually provide valuable insight into the underlying sentiment of that ticker that you're looking at or the market overall. When you monitor volume levels, you actually can get a better sense of when to buy or sell a particular stock. Of course, you can't do it alone. Use other indicators in conjunction with volume to make more informed decisions. That includes just looking at price, understanding price movement. But volume can be a really helpful starting point for finding potential trading opportunities. If you like this video, it's just a brief look at volume. Hit like, hit subscribe. We'll talk to you soon.